So this is supposed to go another 20 minutes. So 9.35, I had to wait by the front door. I got rained Turn on. Turn right on Greenbrier Circle. Lady, I know, I know. Anyway, thanks. I, I, I need to be nice. a lot nicer to her. I'm excited I'm nerding out because I actually get to film during the day which is nice I have it's 8 45 in the morning it's March the 4th I have to be at the Academy what are you doing what are you doing I hate that then I feel like I gotta move anyway somebody parked behind me for some reason um, All right, so I'm actually nerding out a little bit. I'm excited. So I get to actually film during the daytime. It's March the 4th. I just got 7-Eleven, just got a hot dog because I have to go to the academy at 10.30, by 10.30, help set up. I'm gonna be a proctor for the Firefighter 1. Firefighters have, um, there's two different certifications. There's Firefighter 1 and Firefighter 2. Uh, they evolve different things, especially interior firefighting. That's the um, nutshell of that. I have about an hour and a half or so that I feel comfortable with, not even an hour and a half, maybe an hour, 15 minutes that I feel comfortable with doing some Uber Eats and some, uh, go on, go on, get, go on, get. I have an hour and 15 minutes that I feel comfortable with to sidetrack him. Do some Uber Eats and I'm gonna turn Grubhub on as well. Maybe do two orders and see what that's like. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Uber Eats first. They're actually busier much busier in my area and then I will accept an order and eat the hot dog off camera the first order not accepting it it's a 543 for Starbucks going 4.4 miles nope I will continue to eat my hot dog in peace with some gas I'm gonna go over here this, this guy just coming out he's got two bags in his hand he's probably a little door dash or something but this is where I met the guy that uh, I, I don't think I recorded it me talking about it but I met a guy here that got me talk or at least thinking about doing Grubhub he's the reason why I signed up for Grubhub because he said that like they, they get paid quite a bit more or he does better on Grubhub I should say and I have noticed that all the, and I don't think I recorded this part or cut it out in, the, in my kitchen video when I was talking episode two. But I've seen every order that's come in Grubhub has had more, more dollars in miles. So obviously like a $9 order would have like seven miles. Whereas Uber Eats, it's not uncommon to see if it's a $9 order, it's gonna have like 11 or 12 miles sometimes or it'll be like a $5 order going like seven or eight miles or nine miles. And it's like, obviously you don't, you don't pick those up. It might be different on the, the motorcycle, but I have been uh, picking and choosing. See, this is it? Nope. I have been picking and choosing which, which order to take because it's nice. Yeah, you get that, I mean, it's money coming in and you're moving, but oftentimes like when I've actually really not just taken the order and really just kind of said, oh, I'll be patient because it has been so, so busy. So here you go. So this is a uh, 433 going 5.4 miles. So you can see that not good, not good. Um, if I was on the bike or something, maybe. And only, only reason I say maybe is because I only have an hour to really mess around just to do something. But no, 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 no. Uh, and it's probably going to a hotel too, looking at it. So no, thank you. I've gotten, I guess, two offers from Uber Eats in the last 20 minutes maybe, and both were like $5 orders, four or $5 orders, going about the same four or five miles. And I'm good, I'm good. Because if you pick and choose a little bit, you actually, you, are, you run the risk of not getting anything, which is whatever. Like I said, this is just kind of 
it's for fun it's for the channel and stuff like that so I, I could pick up some orders just to pick up orders but there's a good chance that there'll be there's a good chance there might be like a ten dollar order coming up so here's another cheap one four four dollars and two cents going 7.4 miles Woo! yeah that's that's bad yeah breakfast is like i don't know i've not had luck even when i messed around with it years ago with uh uber eats and breakfast and stuff and lunch even dinner is definitely like the the busiest and the, the most profitable time damn so i got got close to that ten dollar nine dollars fourteen cents going 14 miles no. excuse me not sponsored not yet not sponsored yet all right we're striking out here it'll show you have an offer yeah five five dollars five dollars and four cents for 7.4 miles yeah so this is uh this is me uh <laughs> this is me sitting in my car i just had a hot dog what's my life what's my life like uh i ate a hot dog i'm gonna probably regret it later Right now they're taking the written test. Oh, damn, no, it's the same one. $9 for 14 miles, that McDonald's order. Nope, I'm okay waiting. Oh. It's a McDonald's again. So last week I didn't get any, any money. Oh, let's do it, dude. This is funny, did I get it? It's twenty. It's five five dollars going five miles. Oh, got it. Oh, of course. Grubhub's order is going to be awesome. Watch. Yep. Seven and well, not awesome, but way better. Seven dollars going five miles at IHOP, right where I was. <laughs> of course. Pick up on the right. <laughs> oh, biscuit belly. I shall return. This doesn't count as my return. I had to get my keys. All right, got it. It's like putting an Abraham Lincoln in a bag. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. Turn right, then turn left. Yeah. I'll go this way. I'll turn left. Don't you don't talk to me, lady. See, I tell you turn what. Turn right, then turn right on Falvo Park. Yeah, okay. All right. Only because I was already going this way. Yeah, her and I feud. It's been interesting. Yesterday at work, I can't tell you how many times I said for me and my partner, or I was on the medic, so I was carrying a stretcher. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I said, excuse me, or walking by without the stretcher, excuse me or excuse us, and did not hear like anything in return. Like nobody else said, excuse me all day. Everybody, everybody just, everybody, Everybody just kind of like walked by and I like moved over. Everybody was just like, I don't know, yesterday was everybody was in a foul mood for the most part. The patients we picked up were, were extremely nice. The staffing that we saw were not so nice. <laughs> or the or the workers or whatever, you know, that not just the nurses and doctors, I'm talking at the hospital. It was it was uh yeah, one of those days. So hey, kill them with kindness, right? So that brings me to this right here. There was a lady who happened to be wearing scrubs, so I don't know what she was, but she was in the medical field, bringing her daughter, I guess, to get something. 
at Biscuit Belly. I'm telling Park a story. Two lanes. I'm telling a story. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I opened the door. I opened the door for them, and it was crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I've got some good manners. All right, I was raised right. But the last day now, in two days now, February's not Turn left on Green Hey, I'm Park. telling a story! Gosh, sorry. All right, let's just get there. And anybody that does food delivery can tell you that the, uh, their arch rivals are drinks and or apartments that are poor, poorly labeled to the public. Huh. $2.22 for three miles. Now I'm good, bro. I'm good. Seven dollars going three miles. Yeah, let's do it. This definitely had to be the last one. This makes me a little nervous. I got a time crunch. It's a Burger King order going three miles for like seven bucks. So now I'll be profitable. Let's go, baby. All right, I'll be right back. All right, starting to rain, so I'm not gonna lose the old visual here up front. Oh man, I gotta do this. I gotta do it quick. I gotta do it quick. Whoa. All right, cool. All right, we're out. So I gave it to Mike at the front door. Not supposed to do that, but let's go, baby. All right. So that was five dollars and some change. She she was reportedly on the phone. All right, you let me go. Cool, thanks, buddy super busy I don't have time so this is supposed to go another 20 minutes so 935 I had to wait by the front door I got rained Turn on right on Greenbrier circle lady I know I know anyway thanks I I, I need to be nice. a lot nicer to her oh Jesus Jesus take the wheel So this order came up, or let's go back, let's go back. Biscuits and Belly, Belly Biscuits. That's actually a better name, Belly Biscuits. So BB, that order is five bucks going whatever. I think I took it at 924, I think I was saying. In a quarter sure. mile, turn right on Greenbrier Parkway. Lady. I think it was 924, I finished at 935. Would have finished even sooner, a couple minutes sooner, but I had to wait by the door. It's a commercial business, doors locked. And uh, I had to hit the call button. Nobody came after like 45 seconds. So I called her. It turns out she was actually on the phone. So a guy named Mike came and got her food, which like I said, you're supposed to give it to the person, but I'll be all right. She'll be all right. So I did I did leave a message, a little text message. Um, and... Turn right on Greenbrier Parkway. So I did leave a text message and saying that I gave it to Mike at the front door and confirm delivery might be the reason why I get fired <laughs> okay all right Burger King one thing I love about this car it has and it's not it's not new my my truck was Turn left on South Military Highway my truck was bare bones and or it is bare bones it's uh um, you know it's basic but it's a truck it's a real truck you could throw rocks in the back I can, you know, hey, you need some cement removed. You got concrete slabs you need to remove. Just throw in the back, you know. I don't have one of these pretty trucks where it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, bring a truck. We'll remove some furniture. Like, my truck? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a sadly mistake. My truck is not going to have anything in the back. No, that tailgate only drops to sit on it. And you can't have any buttons on the back of your jeans if you're going to sit on it. Sweatpants only and flip-flops and Crocs. Nothing, nothing metallic. No, that's not my truck. We out. All right, I'm gonna go in and grab this order. I probably won't be ready. No, nah, I might be, wishful thinking. Here's a little dilemma. We got a little dilemma. I don't know if this is necessarily the correct way to do it. They did not have coffee. It was five items. I gotta sneeze. It was five items from Burger King and uh, Rhonda Turn right, was not gonna get turn her. right on South Military Highway. Rhonda was not going to get her coffee because they had no coffee. I don't know if they ran out, but it is a fast food place, so maybe they just decided not to make it today. 
I don't know. There's a good chance. Good chance. There's a chance that they had coffee. Maybe it was just for the employees. Anyway. Turn right on Robert Hall Boulevard. So no coffee, and they asked if, if she wanted to do a substitute. So Uber does do that. In a quarter mile, offers a substitute, right like orange juice Boulevard or something like that, or a soda. And I contacted the customer. I tried to call and it went to voicemail. So then, so then I, uh, I text message it, it, her, and uh, she said no, just the food. New text message from nine nine seven zero one. Tell me, don't tell me. I know where I'm going. Don't don't even say it. Don't even say it. Don't turn right on Battlefield Boulevard North. So no coffees for her. She she uh, chose not to get the substitute orange juice or soda. She just wants the food. But I I don't know if this is right. But I asked, I told her contact Uber for um, possible refund for the lack of coffees. So I'm gonna have to wake up a different way. 1.3 miles. Yeah, it's a good one. Right, turn on Campo Stella Road. Oh no. Come back. Felt like I dropped y'all. All three people watching this video. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a fun ride. This is gonna be fun. I'm I'm actually gonna enjoy this channel a lot. Especially on the bike. But this has its perks. I get to have more face-to-face -face conversations, I, I guess. On the bike, though, I'll bring the helmet inside of some of these restaurants. Turn left on Crestwood Lane, then drop off on the right. Need that door. You can knock. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. So the two orders, uh, the Burger King one was good. It was four, four, uh, seven dollars for like four something miles or whatever, seven something. So that was a good order. That's more what I I like to get. Um, three three dollars more than than the miles. The other one was suspect. I think it was five even for like actually like five point four miles. So I end up with um, thirteen bucks. I spent nine this morning. So I got my money back. Take away some gas or whatever, and it's kind of a, a break even day. Oops. Come back. I mean, oops, I gotta say it manly. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> all right, <laughs> whatever. So, I say it's a break even day only because I spent money. I bought the hot dog and I bought two drinks. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the first day of actually going out and um, vlogging it, motor vlogging it. I guess it's still motor vlog, it's got a motor. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you're